Morning, my cotton killers. How's it going? Thanks for tuning in, uh, checking in on me today and seeing what's going on. We've got some hardware and uh, as you see in the, in the description, yeah, we've got something uh, a little bit mental today. Uh, this thing's, uh, this thing's a, a big fucking surprise actually for me. Um, I weren't expecting it and uh, I've got to say guys, for, for what it cost, uh, this thing, <laughs> yeah. It is fuck. It's the tits. Uh, it's the broadside, the uh, the copper broadside from BJ Box Mods over in America. This is a 25 millimeter uh, mechanical 18650 tube uh, tube mod, and uh, yeah, there's. It's. I think it's pretty much. Uh, you can you can get it from quite a few places. BJ Box Mod being one of the places in America. If you're interested in this. Um, it's 130 USD for the brass and the copper. Um, if you want to get this over in the UK, uh, you can get it from evolutionvaping.com or Evolution Vapor. I'll find out exactly what it is. I'll put a link in the description. It's uh, exactly the same for BJ Box Mod. I'll put a link in the description uh, for that place as well, so you can source one. And uh, and yeah, <coughs> this is uh, is this has all silver plated. Uh, copper contacts and uh, yeah it hits it really does hit guys uh, this is a this is a real hard hitting tube uh, in fact I'd go as far as to say that out of all the mechs I've tried and I've tried some of them that are ridiculously priced uh, you know not not mentioning any names but some of them are fucking ridiculous and this fucking annihilates all of them seriously this thing this thing's a beast And, do you know what the best part about this tube is? You can fucking stack it. Oh yes, you can stack it. Now, BJ Box Mod, Brandon, I spoke to Brandon a couple of days ago, and the extension kit for this uh, is gonna be 60 USD, um, and it's gonna be released in about five weeks. There's a more unconventional way of stacking this uh, a more expensive way which is the way I've gone for uh, because I had to stack it I just had to and uh, what that how that is is basically buying two of these uh, taking the bottom section off of the of, of the other tube and connecting them together it takes a little bit of fiddling around but uh, yeah you can do it so at the end of the video I'm going to show you what that's all about but um, before we before we go up close and uh, we take a look at the mod, um, I want to read you a little something uh, about broadside in itself. And um, yeah, BJ Box Mod as a whole is a great company. They've they donate a lot of money to charity and to advocacy, which is which is great. Uh, really good dudes over there. They've got some really cool box mods over there as well. It's not just about the broadside. They have got loads of other stuff. So I would highly recommend going over and checking their website out. They've got some really nice stuff over there. But I'm going to read you a little something about uh, broadside. And I wish I could have uh, memorised this. But unfortunately, I've got the memory span of a fucking ant. And uh, I can't even remember yesterday, let alone a whole fucking little mini story. So I do apologise, but I'm going to read this to you anyway. So, broadside is most commonly recognised as a nautical term, the simultaneous firing of all guns on one side of a ship, and this is a beautiful representation of this device. This definition, however, is not the only meaning from which we derive our name. Creating a reliable, powerful and safer device was our initial goal, but it has grown to be much more. During the Revolutionary War, the people of the American colonies fighting for their independence came together and advocated for political change and freedom from British rule. Sorry about that. Broadside was the most successful form of advocacy. Printed posters throughout the streets of cities informed the public of the latest news. Government pro uh, proclamations, pro proclamations, government proclamations and public service announcements. Our mission is to be a modern broadside, a moving form of advocacy. Every user is a soldier in a war being fought against overreaching regulations. 
Every day we are fighting for our right to vape, fighting for our right to live a healthier lifestyle. We are the proof. I mean that is fucking moving. Um, that's the, the, what more can you say? Uh, you know what? What a beautiful write up. And you know anyone that's put that much thought and consideration into naming a piece of them, what they've made, uh, what they've brought into this world. You know anyone that's put that much thought and meaning into it, to me, deserves some time. And uh, you know this this mod. It's fucking great, guys. And you know, what a lovely read up that really is. So, without further ado, let's take the camera down and uh, let's check this out, shall we? Right, my chicken nuggets. Let's fucking do this. Here we have this little fucking beauty, the broadside. So, when you buy your broadside, this is exactly how you'll receive it in this uh, nice little cardboard tube. And uh, yeah, we've got hot wires this side, and then we've got the BJ Box Mod logo this side, which is obviously the creator of this uh, this tube. And then we've got the broadside with the two cannons crossed on the front. So let's get into this. Inside, you've got this nice little velvet bag with this nice embroidered broadside logo with the uh, with the cross cannons. Nice little velvet bag, uh, you know, as velvet bags go. I've had some pretty cheap, nasty ones, and uh, that's a, it's not a bad one, really, considering. Uh, considering the price of this tube, I think it's uh, pretty damn good. Now, inside, uh, you have got authenticity uh, certificates, etc. So, you know, you're not buying a clone. So... The bearer of this card has received a certified genuine broadside mod. This certificate confirms that it has been subjected to the most demanding quality control process and guarantees it meets the highest of standards. Approved by, uh, I think that's Brandon's signature there, date and serial number, number 247. Cool. And then you've got some uh, literature in here as well. Which is great because it goes on about uh, suggested batteries that you should use, and it also tells you about uh, how to insert the battery. This isn't like your standard uh, mechanical 18650 tube. You go uh, positive side down, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll show you why in a little in a minute. But yeah, this is basically some literature. So if you want to pause the screen, also, which is great. Uh, you get some hot wires. You get some uh, some hot wire. Twenty three gauge, I believe this is. Um, so yeah, if you're out and about in the sticks and uh, you've just bought this mod, let's say, and uh, you know you want to get it up and rocking, you've actually got a bit of wire in there, so you can set yourself up a dual coil and uh, yeah, start chucking. So that's really cool. I like that. That's a nice touch. Also, you've got these two spare rubber O rings. Really thick rubber O rings. And uh, I will get to that, what, what these are for as well, because that's going to last you a long, long time for what you use them for. So let's get to the uh, meat and potatoes. Let's get all this out of the way. I really like that touch. That's, that's really, really good touch with the, uh, with the wire. That's cool. So here we have it. I'm your typical OCD kind of geezer. I hate touching copper when I've just cleaned it because uh, you just know you're gonna get finger marks all over it. But hey ho, that's uh, the nature of the game. But yeah, here we go. This is the uh, the broadside mod up close. Look at that shine, guys. Beautiful. Uh, so you've got this Nordical. Uh, is it Nordical? I think it's Nordical. Uh, it's like a like the, the face of a compass. So you do north, east, south, west. Really nice engravings, deep, not going anywhere in a hurry. You ain't going to polish them out. The threads are perfect. I've had no issues whatsoever with the threads on this. This is 510, it's not a hybrid. Uh, they wanted to uh, practice the most safest option with this, uh, with this mechanical tube. 
and that's why they've opted with 510. Uh, he did prototype a hybrid and he said that the differences were unnoticeable. And uh, I think a lot of that's down to the fact that he has got silver contacts in this. Well, they're silver plated copper contacts. So uh, silver plated copper contacts, which is why this thing hits like a fucking mule. Uh, this thing is uh, its the hardest hitting tube I've owned to date. As you can see, the machining, the quality of the machining on this tube is, again, at a highest quality. Uh, the threads are lovely, beefy, juicy, chunky threads. These aren't the fine threads that you get that get a little bit janky. These are, are quite thick, wide threads which don't bind at all. Um, if you ever get any threads that do bind, just get a lead pencil and just run it across the threads a little bit and that will help as a as a dry lubricant it will take out the squeaks and all that kind of stuff um I've, I've used that method a couple of times and it works great so yeah this is a floating 510 connection you see it just pulls out and let's get a bit of a close-up on this so you adjust this side obviously to uh to buff up to your battery uh, this this comes apart. It's two separate pieces, as you can see. Some nice big juicy threads on there as well. I've got to say, it's really nice finish with the silver plating on this copper. But just be wary. Underneath it is a soft metal, so you know just just be careful with it because they will they will strip. Um, they will strip pretty easily if you're not careful. Got some nice knurling round here, just to make it easier to uh, grab hold of. Really nice finish on this, lovely job. And that's your 510 contact, which uh, buffs up to your atomizer. Nice chunk of Delrin in the middle there for insulation. Okay, just put that there. And uh, yeah, like I say, this tube, um, <laughs> I, I just love what they've done. They've they've lined it. This black inner sleeve is uh, Delrin. Now, this has been tested with unwrapped eighteen six fifty batteries. Um, now, you know, I don't advise you use unwrapped batteries. Don't get yourself in a bad habit of doing that. As you know, uh, always. Put safety first when it comes to mechanical unregulated tubes. The, you know they're no joke. You know you need to be careful, guys. You need to be using high ampage, uh, high amp discharge batteries. So a minimum of 30 amp, I would recommend. And um, yeah, like it says in the in the literature that it sends, I've been, I've been using BTC fives, and they work great. And uh, but yeah, basically, if you do have a tear in one of you in one of your battery wraps. Uh, you can safely put it in this tube and it will not hard short it will not make contact with the outer tube which is great uh, they need to be practicing more safety like this in throughout other companies uh, I believe this is the way forward if we want to stand strong in the vaping game you know safety is very important and uh, this tube is very very safe without losing any of that performance at all. Threads, lovely big thick threads. And uh, down the bottom here you've got the serialized section. So you've got the, this is the serial number. This is all engraved. It's not, it's not sort of, uh, it's not lasered on. It's uh, CNC milled. Broadside. Again, lovely engravings, beautiful writing. I love that font, it looks really, really nice. And uh, this is just a Delrin plate. This is where the battery vents, guys. So in, in case of a catastrophic uh, failure, this is where the battery will vent, uh, which in my opinion, if it is to happen, I'd rather it vent onto my hand than straight into my face. So again, this this tube is great. It's very safe, and 
yeah this is uh, also what makes this uh, tube very revolutionary uh, it's very similar to the Sub-Zero the shorty mod in the sense that it has this clutch system for the button there's no magnets there's no springs you've got this silver plated contact here and this clutch system three point cl clutch system with the rubber o-ring around the side basically fits over this almost bullet shaped contact and upon putting pressure in any kind of angle this opens up you see and what that does is that makes contact with the outside of the tube finishing off the, the connection which then fires your atomizer so very cool very uh, inventive uh, I love the way that basic doesn't matter where you touch this button guys uh, it's it's lift off you can touch it there or around here anywhere it doesn't matter that that weight is dispersed through those three through the clutch system let's zoom out a little a little bit so yeah the the weight is dispersed out the ways through the clutch system with it being the three points where no matter where you push it it opens up and makes contact which is awesome um, yeah so what he's doing is uh, these are silver like I've said the silver plated contacts he is releasing pure silver contacts which is uh, it's going to make it hit even harder uh, if that's even possible but yeah it will it will make it hit even harder maintenance on these uh, silver plated contacts is at a minimum uh, they don't tarnish like copper would do uh, so again you've got minimal effort really to keep this to keep this mod in a good running order just uh, give it a good polish on the outside now and again if that's what you want or you can uh, you, you know you can patina it if you really want to uh, I was actually thinking about patina in this mod because it's got that kind of old rustic kind of feel to it with the Nordic signs and stuff I just I don't know I'm kind of debating on it I might do I might patina this and see what it looks like I'm just a sucker for fingerprints, you know. As soon as I get a fingerprint, I have to get my rag out and give it a quick, you know, get it off quick, fuck, oh, quick. Uh, but yeah, so this is the broadside, and I've got to say, guys, uh, for the money, for the cost of this tube, you're getting a very, very good, reliable, safe, hard-hitting mod. You really are. Uh, I'm very, I'm, I'm very impressed with it thus far. Uh, I've had no issues with any atomizers fitting on this. Um, the way I've been doing it is I've been taking this 510 section off. Uh, I then connect my atomizer, my RDA. With it being a floating 510, I then push this against the atomizer to make sure it's flush. And then I adjust this contact for my battery rattle. So positive side down. And then we just close this up till we've got it nice and tight. And that seam is closed, which it is. Uh, that's as... This isn't seamless, you know, this uh, this is about as close as you're going to get that seam closed. But uh, I know what we all come here for. <laughs> you can stack these little fuckers. Uh, and that's crazy. And I'm going to do it because, you know, I love, I love all things that hit hard. And uh, this hits hard anyway, but stacking it is going to make this unbelievable. So this is exactly what I'm going to do now. We're going to take the camera back up. I'm going to stack this little fucker and uh, I'm going to show you what this thing can really do. Uh, when the extension kits come out, guys, I highly recommend you jump on them. I've done this the expensive way. I've got two broadside mods and I'm stacking them. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So I'll see you in a sec.
Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I'm a little bit scared. <coughs> Fuck. Wow. Holy fuck. What a difference sticking out of a tube on makes. <coughs> fuck me. Okay. The extension kit that comes out for this is going to be shorter than this set up here. This is, like I say, two, uh, two copper broadsides stacked. The extension kit will be shorter. So this... Is what you get if you buy two broadsides and put them together uh, if you get the extension kit you're going to be coming out with a shorter device than what this ends up as <clears throat> Wow um, this thing guys is fucking ridiculous uh, you can't hit this thing for any more than a second or two uh, because it fucking blows your head off Dual six wrap aliens, 326 gauge uh, inner cores, 36 gauge outer. I think this ohm's in about 0.15. And uh, this thing's fucking chucking tits big time. Wow. Uh, and with the with the, uh, the pure silver contacts that they're bringing out for this, this thing kicks fuck out of everything. Anything I've tried. Stacked VCMs, stacked fucking Ables, everything. This is in a league of its own, guys. <laughs> I will say, the button, okay, it is a little bit stiff. This does have a stiff button. Um, that you've, you've seen the size of those rubber, those little rubber washers, they're thick. Uh, which is why it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a good, a nice, firm button to it. You know, you, you, you have to push this button to, to get it to go. Which is good, uh, I like. Uh, the shorty was a bit too soft for me, a little bit too, you know, like this, it's just too, just too soft, just too soft of a, of a button push. I like to know I'm pushing a button. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whew. Five weeks, guys. Hold out for five weeks. Get yourself the extension kit and have more fun with a mod than you will ever have. Uh, for 60 US dollars to stack this thing up and turn it into literally, quite literally, a fucking cannon um, is well worth doing. Definitely. Forget all your other fucking stack mods. This thing here is the fucking daddy. The daddy of them all. It's actually fucking, it's giving me indigestion. <sighs> Whew, fuck. <clears throat> Love it. I hope I've covered everything. Uh, if I haven't, I'll go through the video and I'll put whatever other information I've missed out in the description of the video. So be sure to go down and check it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, be sure to click the like button. Uh, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Got lots of cool stuff coming up. Uh, I'm going to devote next week to e-juice. I'm a little bit behind, behind on e-juice. I've got loads to do, so I'm going to uh, be doing that next week. Got loads of really, really nice stuff coming, including Sammy Fogg's uh, Christmas line that's being released. Um, from what I've read about that one, Jesus, sounds like a, a definite winner. But yeah, <clears throat> I'll leave links in the description for everything uh, that you need to know about this mod. Be sure to head, head over to Clean Cotton Killer's Facebook page. Uh, all one word, all capital letters. Uh, we're going to be doing another giveaway soon. So, yeah, get involved with that. And, yeah, any inquiries, hit me up on uh, lungpunchkid at gmail.com. And that's it, guys. So, uh, as always, keep it clean, my cotton killers. Real clean.